Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to share with you a tool which you can use to create these word cloud shapes and it's completely free and it's going to be a vector shape and a completely vector graphic. Now, if you're interested in that, let's get started. Now here I am on this website called Creative Fabrica and I have previously mentioned it in one uh, in actually more than one of my videos on this channel. So in order to assess that tool you will go to the tool and choose the option called shape cloud. So once you are on this uh, new page you will have the option to put some words and choose different shapes and those words will be transformed or you can say that they will be uh, formed in a form of a cloud in within that shape as you can see here on this uh, star shape now uh, let's say i just want to create a design for father's day or father's day appreciation or gratitude type of style design with different motivational words or something like that so i will choose a shape based on different uh, themes that they are already there but in addition to that you can also upload your own vector shape in the form of uh, an svg file and uh, let me choose uh, this shape here and uh, let's uh, remove these words and instead i'm just going to put some words uh, regarding father's day so once you put all the required words um, that you want in the shape and you have chosen uh, the shape of uh, you know your desire and then you will press this button called upload update changes and once you press it it will uh, do its thing and update the shape and also uh, in incorporate those words within that shape and uh, in addition to uh, this you know simple colors of the shape uh, that you can see here or uh, you can choose the different font styles that are already there and also uh, you can upload your own font file as well if you have a favorite font in which you want your design to appear you can upload that font and in addition to that a uh, single color you will also be able to choose a scheme of colors that is already present here uh, on this platform to make your design even more interesting so you can see here that our shape is updated with the words that we selected and in the font that we have already selected here now uh, let me show you if you want to put some these words in the form of a word itself let's say i want to create a word called dad and i want to put different words in that word so in order to do that i will have to create that word uh, on which i want to include these uh, different cloud words so um, for that purpose you can use any vector editing software inkscape adobe illustrator or you can use um, affinity designer as well so let's say i want to use affinity designer for that purpose so here i put these letters in affinity designer and then i'm going to export it as an svg file so file export and i'll choose the svg and then export it and then upload that file on that shape cloud tool so i'll select that shape tool and i will select the file that i have just created so as soon as that file is uploaded it will uh, actually automatically change the shape uh, and the words in it and uh, give you the new uh, word with the different uh, actually give you the new shape with the words that you have already selected so you can see that our different words are then arranged in the form of the word that we have chosen actually we have created in the form of an svg file now if you want to change it into a color theme scheme let's say uh, some uh, colors that would be interesting let's say this one and uh, let's change the font to a different font maybe let's say this one might look good or maybe something bold like that and then i'm going to press the update changes it will automatically update uh, the uh, changes that we have created now it might be a slow for in some cases where you have a complex uh, shape and uh, a large number of words and it might take some time uh, but it is definitely a you can say that very useful because it's totally a free tool so now you can see that it has updated our uh, word and i can then download it in the form of a png image in the form of an svg image or in the form of a pdf graphic that will give us a vector format and we can use our you know vector editing software to further edit those and use them to create uh, or incorporate them in our t-shirt designs
now by default uh, as a free tool it gives you the option to have five downloads per day and uh, if you already have a creative fabric a subscription you will be able to use this tool without any kind of limitation and uh, that subscription is not only limited to this tool it, uh, that subscription actually means you that you can use any of the creative fabric service or any of the uh, creative fabric graphics or phones uh, totally for free uh, within that subscription so I'm not saying that you should uh, get that description I'm just uh, the purpose of this video was just to share with you this free tool that you can use now in my opinion five downloads per day are not a really you can say that uh, you know enough in some cases but in my, in my in my opinion for my own use I would say that these five downloads are enough for me to create these uh, different designs that I may require for my t-shirt design for different niches so hopefully that you have found this tool to be useful and this video to be useful in your print on demand business if so make sure that you like the video it will help me with the youtube algorithm and also if you are interested in earning online passive income and more design skill you can subscribe to this channel it's totally free and hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching